Hey guys, thought I'd include y'all in on a little project we got going on, fixing to start. We do a lot of camping and we use our homemade camper on the truck and tents. But we thought, well, why don't we convert this in to a camper? We want to put a bed back here in the back and, and then a counter up there and maybe a little storage up here. Something that we could take out if we wanted to haul something. So we're going to paint the inside all white, like the door right there. We're going to kind of brighten it up in there. And, oh, like I said, it's a little five by ten, so not a great big trailer. Uh, it's something that we will mainly use this side door here, going in and out as we build the bed in the back. But first thing, get it cleaned out. So we thought we'd include it on it. Like I said. Not gonna be a full fledged, it's something kind of easy uh, to do, so let's get started on it. first coat already looking better and lighter in there so that's all we're going to do today it's pretty hot out here but let that dry good and cure out and then put another coat on it hey guys we got the second coat of paint on so ready to start doing some building we went and bought some lumber some two befores and some plywood Anyway, we're fixing to kind of got a plan in here. It ain't written down, so we we may make a mistake or two, but we're going to try it. And so we're going to go from there. We're going to rip our two befores in the two by twos. Uh, that way they go further, and we don't need full two befores really to do what we need to do. Four legs. Okay. Four legs, fifteen and a half. 
built, so all we gotta do is make one more. We'll have our benches. guys we're back on the camper and we went and got a cheap rug we're gonna put in it get it laid down and yeah my wife stuck a part place in here and uh, you can kind of see the little add-ons we've done so we're going to uh, get it cleaned back out get the rug laid down and kind of get some stuff put back in here and trim out the shelves so it's roadworthy ready to go and stays in place when we travel down the road okay. we forgot to turn the video on when we was doing some of the construction but here's what we've got going on we got the bed made I went ahead and added a lip so when it falls down in place and it will strengthen it up for the table we lay down our carpet. It's short, but it covers mainly what we want to use. And where my little propane stove is going to sit. The cooking area when we want to cook inside. There's the swing out light. I have showed that to you already. And we added some trim on everything, so if you leave stuff up there, it won't fall out. My wife's fireplace, which it will. But when you got electric hook up, it will really heat. It's got a knock and on thermostat on it. We added this little free floating shell. Kind of notched it out. Both sides like that. Where it'll fit in there. And uh, ain't got a lot of storage up there but a little bit. So but this is this is it guys. Real simple. Use a lot of stuff. On a trailer, a lot of times you ain't got an inside door handle, so turn one of them upside down, and then a, a security latch. So, uh, but yeah, save money. That worked out just good right there. Yeah, I'm really excited to use it now. Really am. Fixing to pack some stuff in it. Um, my wife's decorating touches. Uh, she's actually going to put some little star foam down in there. We put some utensils in it so they don't fall out the bottom. Her towel rack holder. and uh, We splurged when we went to Walmart and got a paper towel holder over here. So, you know, the necessities. But, no, can't wait. 
Can't wait to use it. I am ready. Yeah, like I said, and then you just take this up for the table and like I said I added some blocks in there so it's more secure and it gives the, the table a little more rigid when it's up. As soon as our foam gets in for the mattress, she's going to get that covered. It's ordered and I've got to order a table leg uh, to stand the table up. And uh, after that, I think it's just pretty well done for what we're going to do. See, she is going to add a curtain up there on the front. That's why I'm going to use some storage for my cooking boxes. And she's going to spiff it up with a little curtain right there. So you can't see under that. But I would use it like it is. But she's wanting to make it pretty fine. But that's all right with me too. So, yep. And we may go on through and we can find another piece of rug to go right there under the table. We may do that. Anyway, when you're sitting there eating barefooted. We've uh, it's been an easy little project, guys. Uh, we've not put a lot of money in it. The lumber's high right now because of the COVID, but uh, we used a lot of stuff we had here at home. Uh, kind of designed, made it work. Uh, the plywood off of that on the bottom of that for my shelf and actually was the back end of that old shelf right there uh, that we just knocked off, cut, made fit. So utilizing, repurposing. Like I said, we may add a little refrigerator on it later. She's wanting to add an air conditioner later, but we'll see. Hey we'll guys, see. you hear what we got? We got our table laid. I was going to get flush mount for the floor. But I had to get one of these because I have braces underneath my floor, right where it was going to go. So I had to get one that's going to stick above the floor, which would be all right. So metal legs, light metal bases. So we're going to get this mounted in and try it out. I just went with one leg. I figured that would be plenty sturdy for what we're going to do. So. I'm going to try it. You can see here on the floor, I don't know if you can see these pencil lines. I've already got the center. So when I put my base down, I'm just kind of lining it up on the center. Put two of the holes on there, and then it's going to kind of divide there. It ain't got to be exact to the point and center, but, you know, pretty close. And I'll do the same thing up here. I'll get center laid out on it right quick. And then uh, <clears throat> it didn't come with screws, mounting screws, but I think these sheetrock screws, it's got some mini in it. I'm going to try them. If not, I'll have to go to the hardware store and get some little different screws. But I'm going to try them first and see if they will There's work. Many companies out there that are selling these, many different kinds. This is just a lightweight one I, I picked for our application. So, all right. Give me just a second, guys, and uh, we'll get get this installed. I think these screws is probably going to come to the top a little bit. It does, we'll have to break them off and sand them off. You kind of see, I just went with a scrap piece of hat, I had plywood. I kind of double layered the floor there a little bit, bottom of the table, so it's a little more strength. So, uh, been nice but I had that brace right underneath of the trailer floor where I needed to drill out for this leg to go so see I'm hitting hitting this hitting that part with a screw
got to find some shorter screws. I got that one to angle in. Kind of cheated on that one. That aluminum you can kind of drill for a little. Pretty sturdy. And then, this will probably be a better application with two people. Set this on there. There's our table. Man, then I bent it, got the dent benches a little higher for the bed. So I can store stuff on them. A little more, but that's all right. See, there's the screws. I'll break off, and we're gonna sand this because she's gonna cover the top of the table with something. So. Cool. It is a little wobbly. That's expected, but not bad. Not bad at all. Appreciate you watching version Bill. Uh, you like our videos? Hit the like button. You want to see more? Uh, most of it's hunting and fishing and hiking and traveling. Hit the subscribe button, guys. Um, and always comment. Tell us what you're doing and what you've caught. Uh, see pictures of your trailer or where you've hiked. Uh, let's see what all's going on. So uh, we like to like to share and and uh, converse with others. Again, thank y'all, guys, and we'll uh, see y'all soon.